O'Neill Outside is presented by CVA. It's just a better gun. Hello again, everyone. I'm O'Neill Williams, and welcome to our program. This week, again, we're turkey hunting. Well, I'm not turkey hunting. Travis is turkey hunting. He's in Texas. Travis has uh, established himself with his experience as a seasoned turkey hunter. I'll be dropping in from time to time during the program to talk about some things that, that I've learned that may make you a better turkey hunter. And then the real clinching tip is at the end of the program, believe me. But first of all, let's drop back to uh, those turkey hunting skills for a moment. You'll enjoy this. Last season, Travis took an Eastern with a bow. I think he got excited. We're straight up covered up in turkeys. We got here, we're in Oglethorpe County, Georgia. It was 39 degrees, 39 degrees and the wind blowing 35 miles an hour. There's what it felt like, it was probably a 20 or something like that. I thought the birds were gonna be blown out of the tree, my blind was gonna be gone and everything. But look, it happened five minutes. I mean, we sat there 10 minutes at the most, <laughs> got in. Went to put up, went to put out the decoys, and I looked up. My cameraman Dakota was getting in the blind. I looked up. I said, "Oh man, this is not good." There was like ten turkeys in the tree right behind the blind. How we didn't spook them, I don't know, because they were looking right at me. Look at that. That's not too shabby. Good beard on him. I thought the the other two birds that were with him, they wound up being jakes. I thought they were full-grown toms. I've never seen a jake that big. That right there is a pretty bird. Pretty bird. <laughs> Look at it. Look at that. That's what it's about right there. Beautiful. O'Neill Outside, brought to you by Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. Bill Jordan's Real Tree, family, friends, and the outdoors. Loyal Pet Food for a lifetime. And XGO. The first layer of defense. CBA's newest Acura V2. Already guaranteed to outshoot any other muzzle loader on the planet. And now with a nitride treated barrel that's guaranteed against rust. Inside and out. CBA, it's just a better gun. Are you ready to go grab life by the gills? Maybe take a road trip to a place with no roads. Would you like to make an investment you know will pay off? Then you belong at Bass Pro Shops, where great gear, great prices, and the great outdoors all meet up. Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here. I feed year-round for this one day. My payoff? The stuff of legends. Record rack. You know, you have this passion inside you. You've got all this urge to go and do these things, and you, you, you film some of it, you take pictures of it, you see your father's pictures from way back when. 
one day you may be in the in the woods. One day you may be in a rice field, cornfield, marsh. I mean, it just fits. It fits every environment that we get to. So we're not going to skimp on our camo when we get out there. That concealment, and that's why we like the Max Five pattern so well. It's a go anywhere pattern. Guys, three letters I want you to remember before your next trip. X G O. Why? Well, in warm weather, there's nothing any more comfortable than the XGO Technical Mesh. If it gets wet, it dries almost instantly, and unlike so many others, it has AG47 silver, so it won't stain. XGO, used by our military in some of the hottest places on Earth, it will work for you. Use the code O'Neill30 to get 30% off your order. CVA's newest Acura MR Mountain Rifle, already guaranteed to be the most accurate muzzle loader you've ever shot. And now with a nitride treated barrel that's guaranteed against rust inside and out. CVA, it's just a better gun. Well, we showed you last week the double that Travis took and the season prior to that, an Eastern with a bow. So Travis expands the horizon and drives 20 hours along with his cameraman, Dakota Russell, an outstanding hunter also. And they go to Medina, Texas. And well, you gotta be a young guy to drive 20 hours overnight and hunt the very same day. I wouldn't, you might, but they did. Oh, come here, bird. That's what I'm talking about right there. Just drop them in their tracks every time. Look how pretty this thing is. Man, that's a beard. Well, I'm gonna show this bird to you real quick and I'm gonna get back after it and shoot another one. I hope, I'll try to call another one up. Now look, I gotta tell you these Rios, if I can talk right, these Rios out here in West Texas, man, they have got to be some of the prettiest turkeys. You see all the colors in their feathers and everything. You don't see that on any other turkey. Look how that uh, color comes out. And they always have good beard. This one's got a good beard if I can find it. Right there, look at that. Look at that, that's a, that's a nine and a half, 10 inch beard there. And the spurs on this joker, they're not sharp. They're not sharp, but man, that one right there is long, good night. I tell you what, it feels good. We've been in the truck for about 13 or 14 hours. Man, it feels good to finally feel the recoil of that shotgun. And that shotgun right there, that Apex, I was using a three and a half inch shell for some reason. And man, I tell you what, you can really feel the recoil on it. But that's the gun right there that will put these turkeys down. And it's gonna get some action. Y'all stick around, see if we can get another one. Oh, real quick, I wanna show you. Look at what this bird walked up. He came up, I was calling, and they gobbled in the creek. And right here is where he popped out. I think these turkeys in Texas are rock climbers or something. I'm surprised they didn't fly up it, to be honest with you, but they walked up the side of that right there. I don't know how, I heard them do it, but I don't know how they did it, but they did it. Well, the first afternoon in Texas worked out just fine after driving for 20 hours. The first afternoon bagged a Rio. So now the next morning, it's the more traditional hunt instead of an ambush. Locate the birds on the roost, gobble, 
They fly down, but they're a couple of hundred yards away. He's stuck. Can't get up and move. Let's see what happens. They're strutting their stuff, you bet. But they're 200 yards away. Strutting and having a big old time. But Travis, we well, can't take that shot. He's stuck. So while he is, unless you and I take a break and talk turkey. Here's a couple of pieces of turkey hunting gear I want you to consider purchasing and using, but you'll be surprised, I think, at the reason I suggest it. Electronic calls. Now, first of all, you need to make sure where you hunt, I hunt in Georgia, whether it's legal for you to use them or not. In Georgia, you cannot. Texas, you cannot. And you'll have to look up in your regulations to find out. But here's why I purchase and use these things. This is a mini Phantom, listen. Here's a Cass Creek call, the Yelp. Those are actual recordings of yelping. And you've got the fly down, cutting, all kind of calls. This is for you to learn, for you to learn the cadence, the rhythm, the pacing of the call. That's what you have to match. It doesn't have to be contest level calling, but it has to match the cadence and the rhythm of what's going on in the woods that day. Sometimes you have to call real loud. Sometimes you have to call real softly. Match it and you'll be more successful. And these tools can teach you that. Travis is being patient. Really, there's nothing left to do. Some hens have joined the toms. There's no way you're gonna get those toms away right now. Look at that, five strutting toms in view at one time. Getting closer, but there's no way for a 12 gauge shot right now. So while Travis waits, I have a CONUS hunting tip for you. During the turkey season, have you ever uh, run up against one you just couldn't figure out? Uh, with Rios and Miriams and all, and even Osceola, that's not a problem. You, you can pick out one and go kill him. The Eastern, now that's a different story. He, those, those uh, ba they're bad news, they really are. They'll embarrass you just as quick as anything. The more you know, and that's why I do these things, the more you know about turkey hunting, the more times you go, the more you understand about it, the better turkey hunter you can be. Whether you're bass fishing, white tail, turkeys, no matter what, the more you know, the more you go, the better potentially you can be. So this is what I want you to do. Read. There's a man by the name of Tom Kelly uh, and then back in the 70s, uh, he wrote a book called The Tenth Legion, and it's about turkey hunting. And he's written dozens of books and articles ever since then. He lives in a, in a town, what a, what a great name for a place, it's called Spanish Fort, Alabama. It's really kind of cool. Tom's in his 80s now. His books are all readily available online. You will enjoy them immensely even if you never go turkey hunting. But reading Tom Kelly is going to make your experiences more valuable and more memorable. If success is what makes it for you, then Tom will help you. And that's your CONUS hunting.
tip of the week from O'Neill. Had to wear the suit again. This is my closer suit. I closed our house in this suit. I closed the Kaufman deal in this suit. I closed the first date with you in this suit, and we both know how that turned out. Trust me, we need the suit. How do you feel about this? This looks great. <laughs> great. Just need a signature. Deals so big on Toyotas, they're hard to believe. Lease a new 2014 Tundra Double Cab for $329 a month. Toyota, let's go places. This portion of O'Neill Outside is brought to you by your local Toyota dealer. Toyota, let's go places. Georgia Power, official energy partner of you. Cass Creek, you can't get more real than Cass Creek. And the Georgia Department of Economic Development. Visit ExploreGeorgia.org and discover the unexpected. Travis has been sitting up against that tree for over an hour watching an entire drove of turkeys strut and frolic right out in front of me. I would have exploded by now, and I can assure you, he is about to. They start working their way closer. Remember, patience kills turkeys. Well, he got one down, but can't just run out there in the field. Why? Well, they may hunt this place again. So reduce the activity. After all, the turkey doesn't know what a shotgun is. They may think that that bird just fainted. Anyway, stay where you are. Be patient. Walk out there later after the other birds have wandered away. Have they finally left? But I'm not 100% sure my legs are going to work. Go get that turkey. Oh, man. Did you see those birds? They were roosted all the way up on the side of that mountain right there. They were gobbling like mad this morning. Probably heard 40 birds gobbling. These, we had five of them right here come in strutting. They flew down. A couple of them come from way over. Had some come in early that they walked down. They're coming up out of this creek, man. There's, there's just turkeys everywhere. And this one, these four or five right here, they came in pretty good. Look at that pretty mature hill country Rio out here in Texas. I'm going to roll him over and find that beard. Oh, yeah, he's still got a decent beard on him. He's not as long as the other two, but sometimes it's hard to tell when they're in full strut like that. But he's still got some pretty good spurs. They'll go, they'll go an inch probably pretty close to it. But, man, he's a good bird. He's going to eat good. And you know what? That I'm sure that looks awesome. I can't wait to see it. He's strutting behind that D2 decoy full strut, and we had the hen set up like she was ready to breed. It didn't spook them. They came in. They felt comfortable around them. That's the important thing. Keep the eyes off of us. CVA, once again, Apex 12-gauge, 3.5-inch turkey load. It'll put the hurting on them. And we'll get this whole bird cleaned out. I'm sure O'Neill probably going to want to put him on the big green egg here at some point. So I'll let him cook him up. Y'all stick around. We'll be right back.
Recall the 2014 30-year celebration event? Well, it's been concluded. I hope you're one of the winners, and how do you find out? Go to O'NeillOutside.com, TravisJohnsonsOutdoors.com, or those two newsletters, and you'll find out if you're a winner of one of the many prizes. I'd check it out pretty soon if I were you. We'll be in touch. For over 30 years, I've been blessed to call the great outdoors my office. And you know I've seen tons of products come and go, but only a handful have impacted the way I hunt, like my Thermocell Mosquito Repellent. Thermocell creates a 15 by 15 foot zone of protection for mosquitoes, black flies, and other flying insects. But most importantly, Thermocell doesn't spook my game. Now I can concentrate on the hunt and not the bugs. Thermocell's a game changer that's revolutionized the way I hunt. I love Kona scopes, so it's no surprise to O'Neill that the new M30 is recommended by the National Tactical Officers Association. Designed for hunters and tactical shooters, the M30s offer more features than any other scope, including a built-in level bubble for long-range shooting, the Konus engraved reticle for durability, and the Konus lifetime replacement warranty. Konus Pro M30s, shoot like a pro. These are our Power Belt Platinum bullets, designed especially for Magnum charges. Platinums provide optimal on-game performance at higher velocities, making them the perfect choice for shooters who use a Magnum charge. The 270 grain Power Belt Platinum, just one of over 40 different Power Belt bullets. Find out which one's best for your gun, game, load, and distance. Go to PowerBeltBullets.com. Power Belt, America's number one muzzle-loading bullet. Hey neighbor, heard you took another big 10 point on your place. Yep, got him coming to upper food plot. Dang, we both plant fields, but you've got the deer. What's your secret? I plant Whitetail Institute products. <laughs> Couldn't say. The Whitetail Institute of North America. Research equals results. O'Neill here to tell you about the Grill Grate. It's a new cooking surface for all grills and you need one. Grill Grate panels sit on top of your grill. The bottom prevents charring flare-ups while the valleys keep your juices sizzling and it never rusts. Grill Grate's perfect for fish, hamburgers, and steak. Nothing sticks. The Grate tool is amazing. Four years in a row, the World Championship Steak Cook-Off was won using Grill Grates. Take it from O'Neill, the Grill Grate really works. There's more O'Neill Outside coming up, but first, let's thank our sponsors. Kona Scopes and Spotting Scopes, watch your game. Grill Great, better grilling by design. The Food Saver Game Saver Vacuum Sealing System. The Whitetail Institute of North America, research equals results. And Thermocell, take back the outdoors. Now, let's join O'Neill for this week's Outdoor Cooking Recipe. Man, we had a fabulous wild turkey season this past spring. I hope you did. Travis just whacked them. So we're doing a lot of turkey this year. This is wild turkey breast. It's called herbed wild turkey breast. This is a V-rack over a drip pan. I'm gonna mix lemon juice, and I understand all this is very good as an antioxidant. Garlic, lemon zest, I think is what you call it, salt, and rosemary, and whatever that other thing is. I don't even remember, here. And put some olive oil, mix all this up. You'll see it, whatever I forgot, you'll see it in the recipe when you do it. You're not gonna remember what I tell you right now anyway. Make the best use of all of your wild game, especially the turkey. And this is not going to be like uh, buying a turkey breast in the grocery store. It's, it's a totally different guy. And so you need to add some things to it. Now, the egg is at 350, and this is going to be about two and a half hours. Be liberal with all this. Make sure the garlic is spread all around, all right? And then if you, I like for it to be in the, in the V-rack, it all adds to the taste. I have the convector. 350, two and a half hours, and it looks good already. 
and it completes the hunt. I'll show it to you in just a few moments. Well, two and a half hours. Herbed wild turkey breast on the Big Green Egg. Would you care for the recipe? Go to O'NeillOutside.com, BigGreenEgg.com. Big Green Egg, the ultimate cooking experience. Time for the CVA guest book this week from Tommy Mills in Harlem, Georgia. He said he wants to learn all about muzzleloading. How can he do that? I do this all the time, it's fun, okay? Go to O'NeillOutside.com, right on the home page there in the bottom right hand corner. The Basics of Muzzleloading, an entire series of videos, free. All you have to do is just take a look. It tells you all about the powder, the bullets, the, how to sight in, how to clean, how to, it, everything about muzzleloading. You watch them all and you'll know more than the next guy, I can assure you. If you'd like to win a CVA Wolf model muzzleloader, go to O'NeillOutside.com, the CVA guest book. If we use your question or comment on the air, CVA will send you the rifle. I promised you a show concluding tip and it's headed your way in just a moment. But first of all, let's, let's agree. Travis, in his early 20s, is an established seasoned turkey hunter. Well, how'd that come about? Well, he started young. When he was 12 years old, he had taken the number two highest scoring Eastern wild turkey ever taken in the world with a muzzleloader, and of course it was a CBA muzzleloader. He's hunted with Roscoe Reams. He's hunted with Dick Kirby. He's read Tom Kelly's books, but the number one teacher he's always had, and for you too, is the turkey itself. Spend time in the woods. Believe me, when you foul up, and you do something wrong, the turkey will let you know that's the ultimate teacher the target.